Hello guys, welcome back on this channel and today we are going to talk about how do we configure HTTPS in TIPCO Spotfire or in very simple terms we are going to see how do we make a Spotfire URL secured. Now let's see what do I mean. So if I take you to my Spotfire page and here you can see that my Spotfire is hosted on my local machine that's why I have been using localhost but then the point here is if I click on this icon here you will see that my connection is not secure right so basically it says that your connection to this site is not secure that's because right now I'm using HTTP I, if I try to use HTTPS and let's try that HTTPS it will not work because I haven't configured the HTTPS for this website so if I go back with the HTTP or uh, it will still work now let's see uh let's see step by step how do we implement this so for that what we do is uh let's talk about at a very high level okay at a very high level we can say that we have to perform four steps first one is to generate a certificate file for my website so in production or in uh project case you will get this file from your it team or maybe you will have to request your infra team to provide the certificate and they will provide you most probably right if they do not provide you or if you just want to do it for your uh, learning perspective you can use self-signed certificate and that's what we are going to use in this video then the second step would be to generate key store file basically for those who do not know what is a key store file it is simply a file that will hold your certificate credentials it is as simple as that right the technical definition can be different but this is as simple as i can put it third step is to enter the details of the key store file that we have generated into the server.xml file and we'll see how do we do that step by step and once you are done with that all you have to do is you have to restart the server and your connection or your url will be secured now let's dive into the steps in detail now first of all uh, to generate the certificate and to generate key store file we will have to run certain commands right so the list of commands are here and we'll run them one by one uh we'll not go into detail but if you guys want to have a detailed video on these steps and what does these steps do let me know in the comment box so if i have to explain you in very brief what these commands are doing is basically we are generating a certificate and we are embedding the certificate detail into an key store file right so we'll run these commands one by one and see how does it go so let's move and start running this command one by one and let's see what need to be changed in this command when you are running on your site so i have to to make the copy paste simple i have the same commands in the notepad as well and before we run the command we have to run this command using a specific uh, utility that is called as key tool and let's see where do we find that utility so for that you have to go into the installation folder of your spot file and inside that folder you will have a jdk folder inside the jdk you will have a bin folder and if you go inside the bin folder and you select any file and press k you will see the key tool is available here right so what we have to do is we have to uh, bring this directory into the command prompt so what we'll do is we'll open the command prompt here uh, make sure that you open the command prompt as an administrator or you have the admin rights when you are opening the command prompt so i'll just right click here and run it as administrator and say yes right i'll expand it a bit so that you can see the commands clearly right so maybe i'll just make it full screen okay so once you have this uh, here first of all we will have to navigate to that particular directory right so what we will do here is we will just uh, say we are going to go into d drive and then we'll navigate to that particular directory so i'll just copy this path from here and paste it here and then let's go so we are in that directory and here we have the key tool right so what we'll do is we'll now just copy the first command here i'll just select this complete and uh, paste it here so here what you have to change is first of all you will have to change the password for like depending upon whatever password you want to have so i'll keep it very simple i'll keep it just password and my password itself is a password and then we will have to change the server allies so basically in production environment you will give a proper allies name but for this tutorial i'll keep it as spotfire okay so now i'll simply run this command and it will ask me for my first name and last name again uh, note here that in production you will give a proper first name and last name basically you'll give a proper name here uh, because that will be reflected on the certificate but then at this point uh, i'll just keep a very simple name and we'll see where does it reflect so i'll keep it as my name for now 
okay and then it will ask for other details so i'll keep it simple i'll just say abc abc uh, organization city is abc and then the state is abc right and then the country is let's say i'm from india so it will ask me if all of my details are correct so you will just have a look at them and if it's correct you just press y and hit enter right it has generated a file for you and where do you see that file so if you go here and if you uh, sort this date uh, sort the list of files in the reverse order of the date modified you will see that key store file is generated now let's move to the second step where we'll create a certificate file right so i'll just copy this one and then i'll just go here and i'll paste it right again you will have to change the uh password so i'll change the password and also the alias so or maybe alias whatever you call it so i'll just go here and we'll say the spot fire right and then here we have changed it and that's it and we'll just run this one right so it is running and then you have your certificate file created the certificate the name of the certificate file is server.cer but then if you guys if you guys want to have a different name you can change it as well right so now let's go to the third step uh, what we'll do is again we'll come here and copy it here and then we'll just go back here and paste it here and again i will have to change my alias so i'll just go here and i'll just go here and change it spot fire and then the uh, certificate file remains the same if you're not changing it and then my password i'll keep uh, both password same just to make it easier to remember let's go with this one and we'll say enter okay so it will ask me do you want to trust this certificate i will say yes and it will say that this certificate uh, this certificate has been added to your key store right so here you see this is what you should expect certificate was added to your key store so once that is done i'll just go here i'll just copy this uh, key store file copy this and then i'll go back to my installation directory and here i'll go inside the tomcat inside the cert folder and i'll just paste that file here right uh, i'll say continue and that's it so let's see at which step we are at this point so i'll just go here and see so we have done uh, we have created a certificate file we have created a key store file and let's see enter the key store details into the server.xml right so what we'll do is we'll edit the server.xml so where do i find that you have to go back to the tomcat and inside the con folder here uh, click on server.xml and right click here and say edit with notepad plus plus right i'll decrease the font size a bit right and then i'll scroll down so here you see this is my uh unsecured port or maybe unsecured connection this is the unsecured one and at the bottom you will see that i have an secured connection commented out right so you see this is secured one and that is commented out so what we'll do is we'll remove the comments from here right and then remove this line from here okay uh and i'll just comment here right i'll say uh, i'll say comment it out so this one here commented and then i'll close my comment here okay so now i'll scroll down here and uh, since we are using a self signed certificate and there's a very specific use for this trust store file trust store password and trust store type so we will remove all these three values first of all from here we don't need them the way we are configuring it right so we'll just go back and it is aligned now and now what we'll do is we'll add the details here right so my certificate uh, name was something like key store uh key store dot p one two right and then i can change the password was very simple pass word right and the alias name that i have used was spotfire and that's it right so you have to save this and once i save this i will have to go to the services from where i have to restart the server so i'll just go here and say tipco spotfire server and just restart this one so once i restart this one it will take a few seconds or maybe a couple of minutes and once it is started uh we can go to the browser and if i still use the old port with the local host you will see it will not hit right 
so what i'll do is i'll just change this one and remove everything else and i'll say https and then i'll say localhost right and it should connect uh so now i'm getting this warning because i have used a self-signed certificate so if i go here and i click on this certificate is not valid and if i click here you will see that the common name i mean the name that i have used is reflecting here so basically that that is not same as my domain name all right that is why it is throwing this error but in practical scenarios you will have these names similar that's it so for now i'll just say advance and then proceed to the local host right even so basically it is still secured just that my certificate is not properly created by i mean the certificate does not have the proper names for the website that's why it is throwing that error but apart from that the https has been implemented on your certificate uh, for your spot file so that's it that's how we have uh, made our spot file ul secured by adding a certificate to our website and uh, at a very high level only these four steps have to be followed and that's it guys let's meet in the next video and till then bye bye